Hi, I'm Rochelle. Welcome to my first video. Today I'm going to be cleaning up my bedroom. It is a mess. And then later I'm going to cook a, a dish that I got out of a, a cookbook showing different recipes from different restaurants. Because I want to try something new and different. You know, you get tired of eating the same old things over and over. <laughs> so I want to try something new. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to me. Give me a thumbs up. Just a little FYI about my house. Uh, we moved here a year ago. Um, the old place where we lived that we lived there for over 20 years. So when I moved here, um, I decided to start from scratch on furniture. So like I said, we, I, the place, my house is pretty much furnished, except for my bedroom, as you see. I just have my bed, a TV, a container, a plastic container, container <laughs> as a nightstand, and my dresser. So um, a friend said you should have been recording all this as you was decorating, but I'm not finished yet. I still got a lot to do, and that I want to get. So um, I'm just letting you guys see. Um, me cleaning up right now because <laughs> my room has really gotten out of hand. I'm cleaning my blinds. I uh, dust them usually. But the other day I was looking in the window and I didn't notice how dirty it was in there because I probably opened the window maybe once or twice since we've been here and didn't realize how dirty and nasty it was in the inside those seal and I had to get up in there and clean it I used a towel I knew a dry towel wasn't going to be enough for that so I got um some vinegar, a little mixture of vinegar and water and sprayed in there. And I'm wiping and wiping. And it wasn't, the towel wasn't getting enough for me. It was getting like the top part, but I needed to get in, in there. I mean, really in there. So I grabbed the old toothbrush and it took me about maybe 40 minutes to really clean in there and I cleaned on both sides just not that one side so um because after I didn't realize that my um it wasn't recording when I did the other side but I cleaned both sides so I want to ask how often do y'all or do you clean your windowsill and how often but yeah, that was a lot of work. That took a lot of time. As a matter of fact, I think it took me maybe about 40 minutes 
to get all that clean, but I got it. I have the fan on, so I don't know if it's picking up, but I got all that. I hope you can see that the sun is glaring right now. long extended um, uh, window washer wiper thingy <laughs> cause out there I have 5'3 um, so I have short girl problem trying to get all the way up here so yeah I am really I really want to get out there Two hours later. Okay, now that I got cleaning out the way, it's time to cook dinner. Now, I lately I've been tired of eating the same old stuff over and over. And I bought a cookbook. And I want to try different recipes. Because like I said, I'm tired of eating the same things over and over. So I want to try something new. And since I can't get out to restaurants... Well, I can, but I choose not to. With everything going on, I just choose not to go there. Wait, I bought um, a cookbook, The Best of Secret Restaurant Recipes, and I uh, got it from Barnes & Noble. So I wanna try the jambalaya pasta, and it's um, inspired by the Cheesecake Factory. So I'm gonna try this and see how the family likes it. Okay, I have everything here that calls for the recipe sitting out now. Um, only thing it calls for 
uh, vegetable oil. I don't have any. I have canola, so I'm going to have to use this. And yes, this is all the seasoning. So I usually use more seasonings than this, but I'm trying to get exactly like the recipe says. So salt and pepper and Cajun seasoning it, it is. And, um, and believe me, everything is washed. All the meat is washed. So now um, all I have to do is cut up everything and with like a little camera magic, here we go. Now that that's done, now it's time that we get everything in a pot and start cooking it. Okay, first we're gonna, it says combine the chicken and two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning in a medium bowl. Okay. That's one. And two. Okay, I'm gonna stir instead of toss because I suffer from clumsyitis, and if I try to toss this, <laughs> stuff will get everywhere because I'm clumsy. So stir that around real good. It doesn't say anything about adding the salt and pepper yet, so. Okay, we're gonna put that in a large skillet. And we're gonna let this cook, it says for three minutes. We're gonna let this cook for three minutes. Okay, now that's been cooking for three minutes and now we add the onions and the bell peppers and cook and stir for three minutes okay uh -huh. so while the meat and bell pepper is cooking i got the linguine on because the recipe calls for linguine okay and it's been three minutes so now we're going to add the, the garlic the shrimps and the salt and pepper and then Cook this for one minute, stirring it. And while that's cooking up, we're going to drain the linguine. Okay, so that's been one minute. So now we, um, Put in the tomatoes and the chicken broth. And then, okay, stir it on a medium to low heat. And let that cook for three minutes or until shrimp is pink or opaque. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for three minutes. So, gotta see how this is gonna turn out. Ouch, I just got splashed. juice on there. Poquito mas. <laughs> oh wait, almost forgot one more thing. The parsley. Presentation is everything. Mm -hmm. 
So, that looks good. Let's just see how it tastes now. Okay, so, I guess here we go. Let's see. I need a little bit of meat. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Not so bad. I think it's pretty good. I've never been to um I mean well I never had this dish from um I forgot where it was at <laughs> but I like it. It's pretty good. So I will put the um, description down or the recipe down the link below. And if you guys want to try it, something different. 